Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage, Thomas Brimley! No, because uh, John Howard, you know, whether you like him or love him, whatever, he, uh, did you hear about this? This is a true story. He actually met um, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Did you hear about this? The Cal 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 governor of California? He might have gone a bit like this, I think. I like your film, I like your film about the robot that sent back in time to kill people and you also like the you predator. If you bleed, we can kill it. I, uh, I like that film. I want to say that I'm a big fan. That is great. I love it. I want to say, John Howard, I love you. It's fantastic. I want to say, Arlington, you are dominated. You are dominated. Yes, it's great. I love it. I love you, John Howard. I... <laughs> I just had to get my glasses up. No, we, 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 we've been tough on terrorists and I, uh, I'm going to go with the rat. I'm going to say, no, don't like what you're doing, uh, stop it. And I, uh, I'm tough and uh, many people have asked me what's going to happen after the war. And I said, uh, Steve Moore's been a great player. <laughs> I've done a wonderful job for Australia and I, uh, you know, I've got a secret weapon of my own actually, I've got a Alexander Downer. <laughs> and I said to Iraq, I said I'm going to come over there, spank you on the body, because I don't like it, I don't like what you're doing, and I'm going to attack them through Greece, through the rear, um, because I'd like to come from the rear. No, 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 I don't know, have you been following uh, the, the, all the reality shows? We've got so many reality shows, some um, Have you been following The Block? Did you watch the, the last series of The Block? No, yeah. no, no one did. Um, because it was basically exactly the same as the first one, wasn't it? They said, let's get three really good looking couples and a gay couple. Let's do it all over again, yeah! Um, and why it didn't work, because they probably should have got two lesbians instead of the gay guys. Um, yeah, that's, that's, a, that's my new reality show, combined lesbianism and how home improvement. Um, now you've got a show for the guys. Okay, but I, I reckon that what they did wrong is they should have just looked further afield for the casting. I was thinking, they should have like cast all over the place. I was thinking maybe someone, real people, real people, like maybe from the Villawood Detention Centre or something like that. Yes, what I have done. I have co-worked this two-bedroom apartment into a 26-bedroom house. <laughs> Very nice for all my family. And, uh... <laughs> yes, what the best here? To surprise Richie for the first time of day. Yes, it's where I just go to people's houses. And just commentate on what's happening. <laughs> so I'm going to go into Michael Holding's house for the first time today. He's getting ready to make love to his wife. So, uh, so I'm just going to knock on the door here. Yes, hello, Richie. <laughs> Yes, man, it's going to be absolutely fantastic. My wife is on the bed there. It's going to be wonderful. It's all going to be happening, man. Come in, come in, come in. Yes, thank you very much. I'm going to come in now. And as you can see, Michael is standing over there, knit on. And he's rapidly turning into long on. What, what's your name, my friend? Yeah, go ahead again. Catherine, correct. Um, Catherine, um, what do you reckon the, the biggest film of the last few years about a ship has been? Well done, Titanic. Uh, I'll, I'll feed the questions. Because uh, <laughs> I reckon the Titanic was a great film. Uh, well, it's, it's a pretty good film. Um, we'll do it for my act. Uh, no, the Titanic was a great film, and I reckon very soon they get looking for a sequel, and I reckon it might go big like this. If you only see one film this year, 
then perhaps you should get out more often. They said it could never be done, but in a secret location in South Africa, an exact replica of the Titanic is being constructed, and it's about to set sail, starring Sylvester Stallone as the ship's lookout. No, it's a the unicorn that is in the big is in the tail, the big is in the tail, the big is in the tail. Run the white ball! Run the ball! Run the ball! Run the ball! Run the ball! Also starring Michael Caine as the Cockney Detective. Now, we know. We know that some old board, that is a bleeding dangerous mate. That's right, a bleeding dangerous mate. And they told him, that's right, they told him the stoker. Jack Nicholson is the stoker. Where did they teach you to talk like that? In some Panama City Salem on a hump hump bar? Or is this getaway game the last shot of this whiskey? So crazy someplace else. We're all stuck up here. Thank you very much. Hey, aren't you, uh, Aren't you Bill Clinton? That's right, Jack. <laughs> I'm Bill Clinton. I'm going to do a bit of stand-up. You know, because uh, I've just released my autobiography. It's a great new autobiography. It's got a jacket, but no pants. And I... Okay. What's the difference between me and the Titanic? Only 200 women went down on the Titanic. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> 